Your hospital system gave a donation to help the people of Ukraine, specifically medical supplies. What sort of products and um, uh, supplies will some of the Ukrainians receive from the donation? So uh, what we did is we donated 21 full pallets, which is the equivalent of a full tractor trailer truck. It, it consisted of baby food. It consisted of masks, uh, disinfecting wipes. Um, it has a value of over $100,000. And we chose those products because we understood that's what's needed most critically in the Ukraine uh, today. Um, in addition to, to what Hackensack Meridian um, has given, uh, our physicians and our team members have really stepped up in a, uh, in a big way. There's, uh, they are making their own donations uh, through our sources and through their own sources. We've encouraged them to do so. So I'm really proud of the uh, Hackensack Meridian team for, uh, for really stepping up and making these contributions at a very critical time in terms of Ukraine's history. From what you know, how dire is the situation in terms of the need for medical care? And is there enough personnel to help people who are injured, people who have fled the borders and are trying to seek safety? The, um, the situation is extremely critical right now. We have uh, millions of people on the move, uh, refugees that, um, you know, that need food, need supplies, uh, need medical care, uh, need such things like baby food, as I mentioned before. And they do need masks, too, as, uh, as COVID has uh, spread through uh, Eastern, uh, Eastern Europe. So it is a, it is a very criti critical time. You know, I think um, certainly uh, President Zelensky of, of the Ukraine has made a plea for, um, you know, additional personnel as well, you know, um, assistance where, wherever possible. And I know the U.S. government is, is working through some of those uh, issues, as is the European Uni Union and our NATO allies. But um, I think there's a need for supplies, there's a need for equipment and for personnel. So we're doing what we can, and certainly we, you know, we we've had people who have uh, volunteered to go over there as well. We're you know, we're just waiting for, uh, you know, the green light from the government. And in terms of making sure the supplies got to where they have to go, you're working with people on the ground, organizations that ensure what leaves New Jersey gets to those people in need, right? That's right. So we're working with a organization called the AFIA Foundation, A F I A. And uh, what they do is they collect unused medical supplies and equipment through the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area. And then they share them globally with countries, um, communities, even states within the U.S. that are, are in need of these supplies and equipment. And they, they've been a great partner. Uh, we have good experience uh, with them through uh, their work with the Greater New York Hospital Association, whom we're a member of, and also through the American Hospital Association, who we participate with. So we feel by working with the AFIA Foundation that, that the supplies and equipment will get to the Ukraine in an efficient matter, manner, a timely manner, and will get to the people that are most in need. Bob, really great to hear some of the efforts that your health system is doing for Ukraine. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me, Rhonda. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.